Goblin has a long history because long and short history because actually we did we formed the band me and Massimo Morante yeah. the guitar player we formed the band in 1975 uh, uh, for the um, 74 we start uh, doing one album uh, and thanks to this album De Argento meet us mm. and he loved our music mm. and he chose us for do the um, to write the music for the soundtrack mm. of Profondo Rosso in 90 that was to release it in 75 but we recorded in 74 and um, the original members are me and Massimo and Fabio Pignatelli the, the bass player and there was a, a drummer called uh, Walter Martino yeah. this is uh, the band uh, mm, or, or the, the first uh, band uh, the first line of uh, Goblin yeah, yeah. yes after uh, after when we finished the um, the Profondo Rosso, the band split because mm. we we never thought that uh, that Profondo Rosso could be uh, a big was. success that like it was, you know. Yeah. And so, and uh, in all, in uh, just in a few months after the releasing of the film, the the the, the record reaches the the, the top charts. Mm. Now we sold one million copies of the LP mm. just in the first ten months. Yeah, wow. Yes. So we formed the band again, but we know with Walter Martino because he. He went. He go away for with another band, and uh, went away with another band. And uh, we call Agostino Marangolo, and he substituted with um, Walter Martino. And after with Agostino, we did uh, Suspiria in 1977. It's our second uh, film. So I'm guessing when you worked on Deep Red, you had no idea you were doing something groundbreaking, and that no, people would no, be. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm still surprised when I. When they hear that people, young people now, they love our music, you know, Superior, yeah. Profondo Rosso, I say, how can they know this? It's, it's something that has more of, uh, like, yeah. almost 40 years, you know, mm. it's a lot of time, you know. They, he, he, we, we wrote these songs when their their parents were, were kids, you know, yeah. <laughs> young, like that. And what do you think is the, why, why do you think your music has endurance, longevity? I don't know, maybe because now uh, there is, Actually, there is nothing really new mm. to listen, you know. Mm. So young people they find something new listening for the old music, like mm. a rock progressive, like band like uh, Yes, King Crimson, Gentle Giant, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, yeah. Goblin, you know. Yeah. So they they discover something new they they yeah. never heard before. Mm. Because uh, I'm upset about that because when I was um, 20 years old, we invented the music, you know, my mm. generation. Uh, after Beatles, of course, they are mm, oldest than us. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it starts with the uh, Rolling Stones, Beatles, then uh, Genesis, then yeah. Procol Harum, uh, and many bands. Every band, just at all, they has their own style. Yeah. Every band is completely different one from each other. So I think that now it's, music is flat, you know. Mm. Um, there are a lot of bands, but they imitate someone, mm. something that uh, existed, you know. Mm. And uh, that, that's, uh, I'm upset because the new generation is hard now to mm. do something really new. But uh, why? Uh, someone has to try to do something new, even if it's almost impossible. And I personally find your music, it, it, it just gets a response out of you. you know, it, it touches you on an emotional level, maybe even a subconscious level. Yeah, you know why? Because our music was... Um, Synchronized with the film, so mm. image, images and uh, music together mm. um, gives you something more than just listening music. Mm. You know, then after when you see the film, you listen for the music by yourself. You imagine the uh, film, mm. and uh, you have a good mm, vibrations. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when did it occur to you that you know Goblin was quite special, and that you know you're ahead of the curve? Was it a couple of years after, or? After you broke up, or uh, no? What? We 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 split in uh, 1978, yeah. And then for until 2000, we okay. never play again together. <laughs> okay. No, just we did just one small reunion for Sleepless, yeah. the Dario Gentos yeah. film, yeah. And then the band uh, split again, yeah. And then after uh, they, um, Maurizio Guarini, uh, mm. Maurizio Guarini is um, the keyboard player. Yep. He did uh, uh, an album, Roller. Roller yeah, was yeah. an album between Profondo Rosso and Suspiria in '76. Mm. And um, uh, Massimo and uh, Maurizio they reformed with uh, Agostino Marangola and Fabio Pietelli. They reformed a band called uh, Back to the Goblin. 
without me. I wasn't. wasn't they released an album in 2005. Uh, yes, yeah. in 2005 yeah. they released an album because I had another band. It is called Demonium. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, after they split, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it's. Yeah, it, and Goblin is a straight family, you know. It's yeah. like a divorcing, you know. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's impossible to to be all four together, so, uh, all four member original members together. You know, yeah. I don't know why. And uh, after I met again Massimo and Maurizio, yeah. and we decided to to to, to redo. To build a new band, a new even even if it's, if it's not um, the original Goblin, yeah. we did the new Goblin, and so uh, original members are me, Massimo, and Maurizio, and I call my two uh, musicians of Demonia, that's Tita Tani on yeah. drums, and Bruno Proitali, he plays bass with Goblin, but actually he's uh, the guitar player of Demonia. Yeah. 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 So we mix, mix and match, these, yeah. these two bands, and uh, now we have this gob new Goblin. Actually, we never um, did any any concert around the world. Never. This is the first time. And why? Why yes. did you start a touring? Because again? in the 70s, uh, it was hard to be yeah. everywhere. You know, we did, didn't have any chance to contact people. Now, with the internet, it's easier, mm. and uh, maybe no one uh, knew how to reach us. Hungry you know, maybe, that's yeah. uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's different time, different um, different way to travel. You know, it's. Uh, now it's easier. Yeah. Now we, all the world is, uh, is yeah, uh, it's much smaller place. Yes. Um, so you're best known for working with Dario Gento. What's he like to hang out with? With Dario? Yeah. Oh, Dario. I, I work with Dario now. It's uh, almost 40, 40 years. Yeah. I started with Profondo Rosso and Suspiria. Then we did Tenebre. Me, Massimo, and uh, Fabio yeah. Pignatelli. Not with the name Goblin, but just with our two yeah. names. Yeah. And then after that, I continue to work with Dario doing. Yeah. Uh, Phenomena, Opera, Demons, produced by him uh, with Lamberto Bava's direction, and then uh, and other films uh, until the, the last one, Dracula 3D. But, but is he a fun guy to hang out with? You know, does he like <laughs> yeah. playing pranks or is he very serious? No, that, that is, no, that is a, he's a good friend, very good yeah. friend. Now we are. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's very good to work with Dario because yeah. now he he leave me free to do what I want in the film. Yeah. No, yes, and he's a funny guy. Sometimes he's dark, but sometimes yeah. he's very. He could be an, uh, a comedian. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. You've worked with a bunch of amazing cult directors, and we don't have time to cover them all. So how about I just throw out a few names, and you just tell me the first thing that comes into your head, or maybe you have a funny story. With the, oh, the director? I'll, I'll throw up directors you've worked with. Oh, yeah. I, I worked um, with uh, Ruggiero Deodato. Yeah, what's he yeah, like? Yeah, Ruggiero Deodato is uh, <laughs> yeah. the funniest man I know in the world. Really? Yeah, yeah. You I went, I, I went in film. Brazil uh, a month ago with him. Oh, really? We, we, did, uh, we participated in one festival as, as guests. Yeah. In Rio de Janeiro in Porto Alegre, and it's, uh, it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ruggiero is a funny guy. Oh, really, wow. really, uh, and he did a very strong film, you know, like Cannibal Holocaust. Um, absolutely, very yeah, bad. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but he's, uh, funny he's, uh, he's a funny guy. I, I, I wrote four soundtracks for him. Oh, uh, um, uh, and Lamberto Bava, I did yeah. also two films, Demons did and. Uh, did you ever get to meet his father, Mario? No, never, never. Oh my goodness, no, no, yeah. No, no, maybe because he died before uh, yeah, got met, uh, Lamberto, yes. Um, Lucio Fulci. Lucio What's Fulci, he... I worked with him, but I, I didn't have a chance to me meet him. him no? Meet him, no, because uh, when I did a uh, conquest of the yeah. film, and uh, I um, he lived the, the film because he was doing another film. And so oh, okay. I, I, I worked with the producer and the editor, not with the... Uh, because he had problems with the producer, and yeah. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. So I never met uh, Lucio Fulci. Uh, what about George A. Romero? Oh, George Romero is another guy that we never met. Oh, no, really? no, 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 it's incredible. It's, oh, wow. No, because Romero, he, he releases the zombie Dog yeah. of the Dead in America with yeah. uh, his own music. Uh, they, it just nobody wrote them, maybe. They, he used the uh, libraries. Yeah, yeah, a lot of. So Dario Argento, when he uh, take the film for the distribution in Europe, yeah. he say, no, I don't like this music, and I don't like the film, it's too, too long. Yeah. So Dario decide to cut 20 minutes of the film mm. and uh, redo the music. So he call us, Goblin, to do the music for the European Italian version. Mm. 
And after that, uh, George Romero loved our music, mm. and he decided to uh, all distribute again the zombie with the Dawn of the Dead with the Goblins music. But we never met him. Never. In 40 years, no. you never ran into him. No, I just if I see him <laughs> in the street, I don't recognize him because I don't know him. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about Enzo G. Castle Rally? Ah, Castle Rally, yes. <laughs> I, um, we did uh, some films with Goblin, and I did one film like. Uh, <laughs> Just me, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and uh, yes, he's a he's a good guy. He looks yeah. like a, a boxer, you know, <laughs> boxer. Yes, yeah. he's very strong guy. He's, yeah. um, yes, he's, a, mm, he's one of the um, the most famous director of the sixty mm. seven. Is there any other directors you would love to work with, but just haven't got the chance? Oh yeah, I would like to to work with many. Uh, I had one um, beautiful encounter. It was last year in uh, in uh, October. Yeah. I met John Carpenter. Oh, yeah. yeah. And John Carpenter, um, he did uh, Halloween. Yeah. Halloween is very similar to Profondo Rosso. Yeah. Not yes, uh, and he did, he, did, he he. He told in interviews yeah. that he loved the yeah. theater stuff and music. And when uh, I met him, and they say this is Claudio Simonetti and yeah. John Carpenter, yeah. he yeah. shake uh, my hand and say, "Well, I know you very well. I stole all your music." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I say, "Wow, you did it very good." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I would like to work with you, yeah. John Carpenter. Yes, uh, yeah. I, I love. I like his films. I love his yeah. style. And, and were you into horror films before you started working with Dario Argento? No, no. Not at all. Fondroso was uh, the first. That's new. And, yes. and are you into horror films now? Or? Uh, yes, I just finished one uh, film now in Italy yep. with the Italian director called Stefano Calvagna. The film is called Multiplex. Multiplex yeah. is a story yeah. in, inside of a multiplex, the, the movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Young people, like they dance. are killed in, by, uh, yeah. in, in, in the cinema. What, what, what movies do you love then? What's some of your favorites? No, they no, don't have to no be I, I love, I love, um, oh, I love science fiction. I love uh, horror thrillers. Yeah. Uh, there are so many, 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 many films I, I love. Uh, of course, Hitchcock and uh, all. Yes, I love um, to go to cinema and see. Yeah, not all thriller films, horror films now are really good. The last I saw was Mama. Yeah. By uh, William Model Toro production, yes. very, very good, very good, very good. The one of the best. Oh, nice. Um, so, what's it like to be a musical icon? What's it like to go to bed and know you've entertained millions of people <laughs> and you've influenced countless bands? Uh, you know, I don't know because it's so <laughs> weird for me. It's so strange. You're so detached yeah, yeah. from it. Because I always play. I was lucky in my life because I always did the musician. For yep. all, my, all my life, because of my father, my mm. father was very uh, famous in Italy and mm. popular as a musician and as an entertainer and mm. actor, and uh, so I was born in this mm. field, you know. So uh, I always did in my life. Uh, uh, my work was to do a musician, and I start. I was lucky because I start very young. I was 23 years old mm. when I did uh, Profondo Rosso. Mm. Oh, wow! Yes. Yeah. So. Um, you don't know anything else. Uh, yes, but uh, I'm, I'm still surprised when I come in Australia. <laughs> now we're going to tour in, in the States, uh, in yeah. England, everywhere, in the world, in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows me for these films. Yeah. I'm still feel surprised. You know? I find I that never, uh, I never say, okay, no, yeah. that's normal. That's not yeah. normal. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's, it's yeah. incredible, especially after almost 40 years. One final question. What's the best thing about being Claudio Simonetti? What? What's the best thing about being Claudio Simonetti? Oh, what the best yeah, but thing for me? The being you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I prefer that all people they say this. I don't know what, okay. exactly what to say. But anyway, I I, I, um, I I was born in Brazil. Yeah. And uh, because my father worked in Brazil for um, hmm. uh, thirteen years. Yeah. And I was born in Brazil, and I grown in Brazil. I think I was uh, hmm. eleven. So I have my even if I do horror films, yeah. I have the. Um, the sunny character, you know, of a Brazilian. You Brazil, know? Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm still happy and uh, I, I enjoy my life, you know. That's uh, one of the best uh, uh, things of my life because uh, yeah. I'm, I still appreciate what I have and what uh, I can do, you know. Absolutely. Even, even if it's not easy like this, sometimes it's not easy like this. You know? There are several parts in the life that goes uh, up and down, like yep. uh, everyone, you know? Absolutely. But um, that's what they, what they say, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to, to do my job 
Excellent. So you're currently in the middle of an Australian tour. You're playing tonight here at Billboards. Then you're going to Sydney and you'll be playing at the Metro at the 16th. And then you're going over to Auckland, which obviously isn't in Australia, yes, but yes. you know, New Zealand's like a little baby brother, so we'll give them a mention. You're <laughs> we playing at the Suspiria in Auckland. At the Civic Theatre on the 19th. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I hope to meet you again and to be back soon in Australia. Absolutely.